How can we fix this? Stay tuned, I'll show you what the problem might be. Okay guys, the first thing I did was check these and they were pretty dirty. Now what I did was, for right now, I just poured some Coca-Cola on it, on them they were, but the problem was, I know it's not the battery because I started it up, and you know how sometimes when you got them on, that's how you start it, and then you kind of pull them back, and sometimes they'll stall and then you start them right back up. Well, that's what this did. It started right up. And then it stalled. And I went to start it again. Nothing. Nothing. You know, as you can see here, maybe. Whoops. Nothing. So, what do we do? Well, I know it's not the battery. Now, I checked this switch. This switch, there is a switch underneath these seats on these safety switch. Now, it's plugged in, it seems to be okay. Now, what that does is when you're sitting on it, it will not let you kick your power takeoff in, your PTO. It won't let the blades kick in. It will stall the tractor. That way, you can't kick them in while you're standing out here and chop your foot off. So, now I got to looking at this thing. So, I started checking. I checked the fuse here. There's a 20 amp fuse down here. Check that. I checked that. It's fine. So I'm thinking maybe a switch. But there is another safety switch on this thing. And it's for your clutch slash brake here. So I got the looking down in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Turn the light on. Did that help? Uh, no, it didn't. All right. But anyway, guys, here, let me see if I can point at this. There's a problem right down in here with the brake clutch safety switch right there. Can you see that? Now, look at this wire. It is unplugged. Now, when you push this down, there's a rod right there. Damn it, I don't know if you can see that. There's a like a, a rod right there. Well, it hooks into this bracket, okay? That bracket right there. And that act activates that switch. Now, see what else should not be here? There's a stick up in there, and it was up against that little pressure, or that little bracket right there. And I'm thinking that this switch, or that stick, when I pushed the clutch in to start the tractor, it unplugged this. Now, these things are a pain to unplug. You know, they got a little clip right there. You got to, so it must put some pressure on it. So let's plug this in real good here. Just like that. Make sure it's in there tight. Like I said, that's wet because I poured Coke on there and I thought if that helped it, then I would take it off. The right way is, guys, to take these bolts off here, clean them up with a wire brush, and you're good. But in something like this, just for testing purposes, sure, you can use it. Just wash it out when you're done. Okay. Now, sometimes these do have a low oil sensor on them where they will not, this one does, uh, where they will not start, see that filter? They will not start if it gets on oil. When I checked the oil, oh, excuse me, it was fine. So now, okay, I've got the brake pedal pressed all the way down. Let's see what we got here. There we go. That's the way this thing always starts. Good old 22 horsepower. Anyway, guys, that's what the problem was. So I'm going to rinse that coke off there so it don't get everything sticky or I think there's a leak or a problem somewhere else later on but uh which I would probably know but you never know you can forget that and go what the hell is this stuff you know so anyway guys tomorrow we're going on a we're going to take a road trip we're going on an adventure we're going into Georgia Florida Georgia line
no, no affiliation there. Uh, but that's where we're going, right across the line into Georgia. And we're going to go see a, it's called Spook Bridge. We're going to go see a haunted bridge. Look it up on YouTube. There's all kinds of videos about it. And I'll get in more of, about the story with you tomorrow on that. But right now, I'm going to go clean that off, get the airs, the airs in the tires. Yeah, get the air put in the tires so that way it's ready to go next time one of us wants to use it. Okay, guys, so now, anyway, don't forget to check out Monkey1000. Check her channel out. She's doing good. She's got some videos coming up. We've I'm going to have more for you guys. So, hope you had a great Easter. Hope you had a great week. Happy Friday. And uh, have a great weekend as well, guys. So, remember, the myth, the man, the legend, Shea Bear 1000 I'm gone for now. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.